In this video, we will discuss the different management that we can perform in the model-driven app as lesson 3 in the fourth module working with model-driven app. In this lesson, we will learn how to manage the model-driven app properties. After that, we will learn how to delete model-driven app. At the end of this lesson, we will have a demo to manage model-driven app. After creating your model-driven app, you will have some properties that you can manage. This means to update and customize these properties. You can update the name property, the name that displays to the users. So it is recommended to use meaningful name for the app. And you can update the description of what the app is. Also, it will appear to the users. Every model-driven app has an icon. By default, it sets the default image for the model-driven app. And you can update this default image by yours. Besides that, you can choose a welcome page for your app. You can select one from the web resources that are available in your environment. And you can enable the app to be available offline on mobiles to the profiles that are selected. These are the properties that you can customize in model-driven app. The deletion of model-driven app. The deletion of model-driven app is divided in two, two ways. The first way, if your app is created directly in your environment. In this case, you will use the delete action of the selected model-driven app that you want to delete. The second way, if your model-driven app is installed as part of managed solution, in this case, you will delete the managed solution. When you want to delete unused model-driven app, it is recommended to delete its site map to avoid the appearance of the error while creating a new app in the next time. But also, if you didn't delete the site map, you can discard this error and go on, and it is not appearing in the next time again. Let's have a demo to discuss this management in model-driven app. In this demo, we will learn how to manage model-driven app properties and how to delete model-driven app. First, we will learn how to edit model-driven app properties. From the Make Power Apps site, in the Apps section, select your model-driven app. For example, I created a model-driven app test. In the More command to edit this app, press the Edit action. It will open the app in the App Designer. This is the model-driven app. You have some properties that you can update and customize in model-driven app. From the properties section here, you can update the name of the app. Make sure to make the name meaningful according to the purpose of your app. This name will appear to your user and also the description of your app will appear to your user. You can write a short description for your app, for example here, managing This is the default image that every model driven app when created takes this image. You can you can update this image first and check the use default image. This is the list of icons that are available. You can also add your own image as a new web resources and it will appear here in the list of this in the list of this icons when you selecting and then choose your icon and it will update the icon one of the properties that you can't change is the unique name the url for your app that the user will use to browse your app also you can choose a welcome page for your app select this choice choose a welcome page for your app and then select your app you can select your welcome page another property is enable mobile offline as we mentioned if you enable if you enable this option, the app will be available offline on mobiles to the profiles that are selected here. I'm using the community plan here. I don't have profiles. Save. After finishing, after saving this update, back to the Power Apps. This is new model driven app. For just from 13 seconds. The second management is deleting the model driven app. There are two ways to delete a model-driven app. If, a mo if your model-driven app is created directly in the environment, such as this model-driven app, I created it in this environment, you can delete this environment from the more command action and choose delete. Delete the app. I opened it here. Close. Successfully deleted model-driven app. Refresh. 
the app is deleted. The second way, if your app is installed as a part of a solution, you will delete the app from the solution. You will delete the managed solution from the solution section. Search for your solution, for example, and delete the solution. This is how to delete a model driven app if it created directly as an app in the environment or if it installed as a part of managed solution, delete the managed solution.